G'day everyone, Oxygen Farmer. The uh, issue of growing your own food um, and having a year-round supply requires a bit of planning and a little bit of knowledge about uh, where you're living, what your earliest frost is, what your last frost is, um, but most importantly, um, what foods you like to eat, because they're the ones that you should grow. For me, I'm in the Hunter Valley, and according to the Bureau of Met, I'm in the blue zone here, which is the temperate zone. So, uh, the information that follows is about the temperate zone in Australia. Okay, what to grow when for the Australian temperate climate for January? In seedling trays, you've got nothing this month, um, but you can transplant eggplant in containers or the garden bed, and you want that to be 60 to 75 centimetres apart, and you harvest that in 12 to 15 weeks. Lettuce, transplant into containers or garden beds, 20 to 30 centimetres apart, harvest in 8 to 12 weeks. Okra, okra okra in the garden bed 35 to 60 centimeters apart harvest in 12 to 15 weeks now for sowing direct in your garden bed in january you can plant any of the following amaranth asparagus pea climbing beans bush beans beetroot burdock although i wouldn't because it was the inspiration for velcro carrot chives, cucumber, kohlrabi, lettuce, marrow, mustard greens, oregano, parsley, uh, radish, rosella, um, salsify, silver beet, sunflower, swede, otherwise known as rutabaga, um, sweet corn, turnip and zucchini. Okay, for amaranth you want to plant that in a garden bed, 50 centimetres apart, harvest in 7 to 8 weeks. Asparagus pea in the garden bed, 20 to 25 centimetres apart, harvest in 8 to 11 weeks. Climbing beans in the garden bed, uh, 10 to 20 centimetres apart, harvest in 9 to 11 weeks. Bush beans in the garden bed, 5 to 15 centimetres apart, harvest in 7 to 10 weeks. Carrots can grow in containers or garden bed, 5 to 30 centimetres apart, harvest in 12 to 18 weeks. Chives in containers or garden bed, 5 centimetres apart, and then harvest those in 11, 7 to 11 weeks. Cucumber in your garden bed, 40 to 60 centimetres apart, harvest in 8 to 10 weeks. Kohlrabi in the garden bed, 10 to 25 centimetres apart, harvest in 7 to 10 weeks. Lettuce in containers, garden bed, 20 to 30 centimetres apart, harvest in 8 to 10, 12 weeks. Uh, marrow in the garden bed, 90 to 120 centimetres apart, harvest in 12 to 17 weeks. Mustard greens in the garden, or, or container, 30 to 5 to 60 centimetres apart, uh, and harvest that in um, five to eight weeks. Um, great in stir fries. Oregano, oregano for the northerners, uh, in containers or the garden bed 15 centimetres apart. Harvest that in six to eight weeks. Parsley in containers or the garden bed uh, 20 to 30 centimetres apart. Harvest it in nine to 19 weeks. Um, radish in containers or a garden bed, three to five centimetres apart, harvest that in five to eight weeks. Rosella in the garden bed, 140 centimetres apart, harvest in 21 to 25 weeks. Salsify, otherwise known as vegetable oyster, um, in the container or garden bed, 15 to 20 centimetres apart, harvest in 14 to 21 weeks. Silver beet or chard, in containers or 
garden bed 15 to 30 centimeters apart harvest that in 7 to 12 weeks sunflower in containers or the garden bed 20 to 45 centimeters apart harvest that in 10 to 11 weeks swede or rutabaga in uh, the garden bed and it uh, needs to be planted 10 to 20 centimetres apart, harvest in 10 to 14 weeks. Sweet corn in containers, which need to be pretty big, or the garden bed 20 to 30 centimetres apart, harvest in 11 to 14 weeks. Turnip in containers or garden bed 20 to 30 centimetres apart, harvest in 12 to 20 weeks. Zucchini in containers or the garden bed 50 to 90 centimetres apart and harvest in 6 to 9 weeks. So there you go, um, I will place uh, the text of what I have just um, spoken about in the, uh, uh, in the description below or in the comments um, after this has loaded. Um, any thoughts or suggestions on... Um, how to uh, improve this information for you guys just let me know and I will um, adapt anyway this was my first attempt for a um, month by month what to grow in the Hunter Valley but as you saw on that picture um, the temperate region is a large region of Australia so Happy, happy growing, guys. <laughs>